Schaefer. And uh, joining us now is Curtis McMillan, our safety volunteer coordinator. What on earth does that mean? means I make sure everybody on the water is extremely safe. So it's exactly like it, it sounds. It sounds. If they get hurt, we get them into the shore. We get them medically taken care of. We clear them if we think they may possibly have a concussion. If they're bleeding, we get them bandaged up. We do everything we can to keep them on the water. Well, and people may not think about show ski. Okay, you know, maybe not football. It may not be. But there's a real chance of injury. So you, you think at this level they know what they're doing, but there's still an opportunity for injury. It still happens. All of, uh, un unfortunately, uh, we've had minor injuries at most of the world tournaments. Um, and most of the tournaments that I work, we have our minor injuries. We have a few majors here and there. Somebody will dislocate a shoulder, dislocate sure. a hip. Unfo it's, and it's usually, unfortunately, it's jumpers or barefooters that do that. And every once in a while, our girls will, you know, bang and get their knees knocked, um, their shins will hit the skis and stuff right. like that. People will fall on each other and cause Sure. Cause well, I mean, issues. they're stacking up pyramids yeah, stacking and things up. like that. Absolutely. One of the young ladies that's walking around from Australia, she has a bum knee because her last practice at uh, before they came over, they had a collapse and she got landed on. Now she's out, unfortunately. Oh, geez. So. Curtis, uh, where are you from? You're not from this area, right? I live at Lake Norman, North Carolina. Okay, so you yeah. came all the way over here. So we've talked about uh, all the different countries that are coming here, but there's a lot of people from around the country that are coming in for this event because it's a world, the show ski tournament, but we're also celebrating the 100th years, 100 years of, a, of the sport. This is a neat event. It's a very neat event. It's very well set up. It's very well organized. Like any event, it has its little issue here and there but oh, yeah. it's all being resolved and it's being resolved so nice and cordial and people are helping each other teams are working with each other talking with each other and the country USA people here in America there are people coming from Illinois California Colorado all over just to be here for this weekend to see this because it is here it is in the water ski capital of the world Oh, on cue. I, I, and no, I did not pay him to say that, but uh, uh, it is something that we have long been known for. Uh, Winter Haven and Polk County, the water ski capital of the world, so it made a lot of sense to bring this event. Uh, as I said earlier, it's kind of the capstone of a celebration of the entire year. Uh, it just made sense. And what about this facility, the city of Winter Haven? What a facility. Winter Haven, the city of Winter Haven and the county have done so much work. I've, I have come here, I've skied here and competed here back many years ago. I remember none of this being here, nothing this nice, this formal. Just, you know, all access, everything, you just love it here. And, I mean, if you don't love here in this lake and skiing, something's wrong. <laughs> well, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I mean, can't, uh, I could see, you know, I could see some more, many more tournaments here. Absolutely, and uh, that, that's the whole genesis behind the, the site and working with the city and the county and Cypress Gardens water ski team. So if we can, just get back uh, just a little bit about the on-the-water safety. Um, so your team goes out picks up triages and lets the medical uh, unit that's on standby during the event know what's coming to them and they can decide whether they're going to transport or not yes. or if there's going to be treatment. Uh, so you got Advent Health is going to be on site with one of the rigs. Right. you got Bond Clinic trainers that are going to be here. So it is a choreographed effort to ensure the safety, correct? Right, and they we, we communicate with them. As my team goes out, I'm listening to what they're saying in the radios and telling me what's going on. And I'm, I'm directing traffic on, do we need to go to Bond Clinic? Do we need to have a health to take over once they get them to shore? My, one of the things we do as safeties is we get them to shore. Well, this way, the Bond Clinic people, the Advent Health people, they don't have to get in the water. We get them, on, we get them backboarded and get them to sure. shore so they can take over. Well, a little birdie told me, and, and I want to know if this is correct or not, but a little birdie told me you were a world-class jumper back in your day. That would be negative. <laughs> but so uh, tell us that story, because I, I, you were I've, telling me off I've, air. It's I've a great had, story. I've had three jumps in my life, first, last, and only. <laughs> uh, my first jump, I sat on my butt, went over, landed on my back, thought I'd killed myself. Second jump, I went over, my knees, I landed uh, just a straight over and land and my knees swelled up bigger than my big fat head I said no more of this I'm done I've never jumped again not on purpose jumped off the dock to barefoot but with skis on no 
But you were formerly a member of uh, the Team USA and, and been a part of water skiing and all that. Uh, what made you want to make the transition into the care side of things versus the operational side? I'm a retired search and rescue paramedic. Um, I work for the government, and um, I was a, I was never the phenomenal skier that you'll see out here. I was a good skier. I wasn't great. But um, I just, uh, 1999, some friends of mine from uh, Florida who did safety in the, the normal show ski world, they, I was at a tournament, and they said, we need to get him involved because he's a swimmer, right. he's got a safety background, and he people will love him. And that's how I got involved, and I've been doing it ever since 1999. Sorry, I get distracted. I see I see him go by. And I'm, I, the Bodo is one of the – it's fabulous half. Just round the boat we go. That's unbelievable. And see, we well, on this act right now, the Bodo, we watch the guys as they go under the ropes. And yep. We make sure a rope doesn't hit them in the head. Sure. Or, you know, kind of you know, mess their ear up and stuff like that. They all four made it, so they did a great job. Yeah, it, uh, there's a lot of action going here. You certainly don't want to miss it. That's the 21st, 22nd, 23rd of October uh, here at the Martin Luther King Park, uh, Lake Silver. Just a great event. Um, before we let you go, tell me, tell me really quick. Um, actually, let me back up. So coming out of COVID, uh, obviously the lockdowns, the outdoor things, uh, were, were a lot of where people were leaning into during COVID because they were tired of being you know, locked up. down and cooped up and all that. So Polk County was perfectly suited for what we already are to receive those people with the camping, but boat sales went through the roof. So there's a major push. It's almost like the 100th anniversary uh, had good timing uh, as far as the outdoor recreation because those boat sales have gone crazy and there's a lot more people on the water but let me get to the safety aspect of it is there some information out there or where th where should people go for boater safety information because yes you want people on the water yes you want to grow the sport but we also got to do it safely there's um, almost every county every state has boater courses that they can take usa water ski offers them and we have trained drivers that will teach you how to drive a boat uh, for the different acts you'll see out here, we, one of the things we don't recommend is somebody to go try a jump that's never jumped and right. had any formal training. Right. Um, your uh, DNR, I'm not sure what you have, DNR here, wildlife here, uh, they also offer many training classes and we recommend it highly that the boat dealerships, people that they know they've just sold a boat to that has no clue what they're getting into, is direct them in that way so they can get it because there's plenty of stuff out there unfortunately on YouTube you can watch how to do this watch how to do sure. that but you want to get the formal for me I like the hands-on training and some people some you know some people just like oh, I don't need all that but you do because you never know you want to make sure you're safe out here on the water water is very dangerous I mean I, you, you, I tell people all the time two foot of water and you can be in trouble sure yeah. sure well, we appreciate you being here. We appreciate you traveling all the way from Oklahoma. No, North Carolina. I'm sorry, North Carolina. I know. I'm a. You, know, you, know, you got to remember, I'm a lower Alabama country boy. Grew up in Alabama, went to school at Florida State, and then moved to Montana. Yeah, and you mentioned that you were talking about it, some of the other people that were coming from from North Carolina or from Oklahoma. Oklahoma, yeah. It's been a long week. It's going to be a good week, but it's, it's already be been a, a long fun week. week. Well, and, uh, we appreciate that, and uh, we appreciate you coming to the water ski capital of the world because uh, uh, safety is important, and we know we're in good hands with you. Well, that I, I, I feel like you are, and I feel like I do a great job, and I feel a lot of love from a lot of the in different teams and individuals here that they know I'm here watching over and I'm taking care of. Them. All right, well, sounds good. Thanks for watching, and if you want to see more videos from Sports Central, click the video below and be sure to like, share, and subscribe.